Robotics is a company that uh, develops technologies to help people to do inspections underwater. The main techniques that get used currently for underwater inspection are video and sonar. Uh, with video, you're able to just get a picture of what's going on down there. Now, it's very good at very quickly getting a, a picture, but it doesn't give you the measurement information that, you, uh, that an engineer would be able to use to assess their asset. Something like sonar. Sonar is able to give you measurement information, but it just physically won't give you the resolution that something like the laser scanner can provide. So we've developed a, an underwater laser scanner and it uh, will, will take fine precision measurements of all sorts of underwater defects. So anything from a, a dam uh, face to a bridge piling, um, offshore oil uh, platforms and offshore oil infrastructure that's, that's under the water, even uh, scientific things such as uh, coral reefs uh, and um, and archaeological artifacts. The laser scanner is able to be deployed by a variety of different systems. It can either be deployed by a scuba diver or a commercial diver that takes it down to whatever it is that they're wanting to look at. There are also robotic vehicles that our sensor can get mounted to uh, to be able to then deploy it. Uh, once it's down there, uh, we have a motor inside the scanner itself that will then turn the head of the scanner um, and capture a bunch of adjacent profiles of, of points scanner to be able to build up a, a, 3D, a 3D point cloud. I like this market because it's very unique. It's, it's something that people use every day but they don't realize it. So every time you turn on your, your tap, there's a lot of infrastructure that's bought, brought that water to you and then it goes down the drain and there's a lot of infrastructure that takes it away. Scanning of the coral reefs are, are one of the interesting things where people can go down, scan a coral reef and then go back a, a year later and again, understand exactly how much growth or decay has, has occurred at that location. Uh, people can also go down and inspect uh, ship propellers. So if people are interested in taking our scanner down, mounting it to the underside of the ship, and when the ship pulls into uh, to port, usually there's about an eight hour window before it heads back out again. Uh, what we'll be able to do is provide them a complete 3D model of what their propeller looks like. There's also a, a really interesting project coming up for us where uh, some scientists are looking to take it to Antarctica where they're looking to scan some microbial growth. So they're going to drill a, a, a three meter diameter hole six meters down through the six meter thick ice to be able to put our sensor in with the diver and uh, then we're going to be able to provide them with 3D models of this that they can then create uh, a replica of and, and have it in a museum.